First on Fox tonight, while Black Friday shoppers picked up some serious bargains, police say this man behind me made off with a whole lot more after pulling a heist on the driver of an armored car. Fox 17's Eric Alvarez has the latest details on this ongoing investigation. Eric. Well, John, right now, Metro Police say the man behind the heist is still on the loose. And the families that shop at that Walmart are not happy about it. It's a case so unusual, even the FBI is investigating. You hear about all sorts of crazy things happening on Black Friday, like fights and people arguing over who gets what TV, but something that extreme seems a little bit concerning. Surveillance photos show this man in a tan jacket and black starter cap walk into the store at 10.21 a.m. He walks back out five minutes later. That's when police say he pepper sprayed the driver of a Loomis armored truck and stole a deposit bag full of cash in broad daylight on one of the busiest shopping days of the year. Did you really come out on Black Friday to rob somebody when people are out trying to buy things for their family? Walmart management refused to comment, but Metro Police say the suspect took an undisclosed amount of money and then drove out of this parking lot in a silver Pontiac Sunfire. It's surprising that he was able to get away with so many people around, especially this is kind of a, a secluded area. It's not like there's a lot of ways out of here. I went out to Loomis's Middle Tennessee headquarters in North Nashville. Is there a media relations person or somebody I can talk to? No, sir. You can't give out the information. That was a dead end. You can't give out the information of media relations to the media? We, we, we cannot give out any information. The questions outweigh the answers. Who is this man? How much money did he steal? And most importantly for shoppers, who's to say he won't strike again? We live less than half a mile away. We are literally one stoplight away. So just to know that this happens at the Walmart that we come to for everything, that anything could happen, just blows my mind. Now, police say the suspect is six feet tall and weighs 210 pounds. Police ask anyone with information to call Crime Stoppers at 74 Crime. Eric Alvarez, Fox 17 News.